In this class, you have built your own framework and also used an existing one. But when you enter the workforce and work on projects, how do you know when to use which? It's a common problem that you're going to be faced with, so let's see if Jacques has any advice for us. Hey, so there's actually a bit of a trade-off in between using an established framework like Bootstrap or using your own framework. And when you use a framework like Bootstrap, you're going to get a lot of features. I mean, as you can see, you know, as you've worked through so far, you can build a tremendous amount with Bootstrap. When you start to need to do things outside of that framework, when you want to start doing things that Bootstrap doesn't uh, support, you might look at making your own. And when you make your own, you get a lot of freedom. You, you can do anything, really. But you're going to have to put in the work to do it. So as you approach your projects, try and see what that, how that breaks down for you. If you're going to need to do a lot of things that boot, Bootstrap doesn't support, try uh, looking at maybe rolling your own. If you're going to be doing things that Bootstrap does or that another framework does that you find that you really like, go for that, absolutely. At Udacity, we actually use a combination between Bootstrap and some stuff that we've written ourselves uh, to work alongside of it. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, congratulations on you know, getting through uh, the class so far. And uh, you know, it'd be fantastic to see you uh, working on your own projects or in you know, at some point a professional office like this.